Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome to another video. So we've all had them days right well. For some of us, it actually might be like every day. Where we wake up, we want to put on some makeup, you know, we want to look decent. But, let's be real, we just don't have the time. We want something that takes like 10-15 minutes, we can just put it on our face and go. So this video is for all of my boys and girls out there who, you know, have 10-15 minutes in the morning to throw on a face. I got you, I got you. This makeup look that I'm wearing right now, just showing you. <laughs> this is exactly that makeup look. So it's really, really skin focused. So the majority of the makeup is just skin that we've whacked on some mascara, really, really quick lip product. And that is it. I feel like as long as your skin, it looks ready to go really healthy, then the rest of the makeup kind of just comes together. Now I know what you might be thinking. That did not look like it took 10, 15 minutes, but I'm here to like prove it to you. Right here, right now, I'm gonna play a clip of me sped up doing this makeup in about 10, 15 minutes. If of course you skip some steps out or whatever, it will be quicker. But this is me doing all the steps in this video. As you can see, I like time it and everything to prove to you that it took me 10, 15 minutes. It's just like that quick glam. You throw it on, you feel put together, you're ready to go, you're ready to face the world. So for all of my little makeup lovers out there who, you know, are short on time, in a rush, just wanna be quick, go, go, go. Hopefully you will love this video. So if you do wanna know how I did this, then just keep watching. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, okay, I'm gross. Let's just, let's just do the video. Oh, look, my bun just about fits in. Okay. Oh, crrr. let's begin. Let's put some makeup on this face. So the first step I'm gonna do is primer. I mean, keeping it real, if you're in like a mega rush, you could totally just skip this step. But I just kind of like the way it feels, to be honest. This one is the Fenty Beauty one. It just feels really good. Makes my skin feel really soft. We're gonna go straight into foundation now. Being completely honest with you guys, honesty is the best policy. This little section of the video, so the foundation part with EX1 is really, really kindly sponsored. I was so flipping excited when they contacted me and asked if I wanted to use this foundation in a video because, I mean, if you're an OG, if you've been around a little while, I used this in my first ever YouTube video and it takes me back to the first time I used this. I can't believe I'm going to do this because this is so embarrassing, like... <laughs> but I'll roll a clip now of me using it in my first YouTube video to kind of show you that I use this all the time. It was one of my favorite foundations. I'm such a baby in that video. It literally just melts my heart. <laughs> Little Jordan. I'm like, ah, oh, right now, but honestly, Loki, it's pretty embarrassing. Like, watching them old videos back makes me cringe, but... but we all started somewhere, so it's fine. I just love that when that happens, when brands that you actually love contact you. Obviously, I only ever work with brands and products, etc. that I actually love. But this is a little throwback for me. I love it. So yeah, this foundation is the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. The colour that I'm using, by the way, is 8.0. I mean, you guys know I love a foundation that actually will like cover my skin. But I still want my skin to be able to breathe and you know, not look like, you know, we're baking a cake up in here. This foundation is like perfect for everyday wear as well because it is more of a medium coverage, but you can totally like build on it to get the coverage that you personally like, which is fab. Now, I don't know whether you guys can like see right now, but I haven't even blended this foundation down my neck and it pretty much like already like matches me. What's super interesting about this foundation is it has like pigments in it that matches the like natural human skin tone the best. How crazy is that? Like this is science all up in here. Have you ever had it where you use a foundation and it's like super orange or like really pink? Whereas this foundation is more kind of skin like color wise, which is great. Cause you know, I'm not trying to look like an Oompa Loompa. So here is one layer on my skin. You can see there is some things still peeking through, but it looks so natural. It looks glowy and healthy. It just still looks really skin-like. I can't even feel it on my skin either. It's so lightweight, which is a fab because, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm wearing a brand new face. I want it to feel like my face, you know, but a little more, you know, a little more enhanced. Oh my god, okay, this is so cool. Right, I'm just reading up about it. I'm about to get a little bit more sciencey on you. But it says that this foundation has a unique spherical, 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 Okay, basically the little pigments in the foundation that have a coating on them and it stops your foundation from oxidizing throughout the day, which is great. I believe there's 13 shades and it's only £12.50 and guys, 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 you're going to be able to get your hands on this foundation like super, super easily because it is being released in boots. Can I have, can I have a round of applause please? <laughs> it's so good, you know, I love that because then you can actually go in store, swatch it and see what matches you. Oh my God, actually, I remember about the packaging. I remember from when like Baby Jordan used this. As you use the product, it gets like pushed up like this. So you can see how much you've got left in the packaging. 
How good's that? Concealer, I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm using this concealer because you can literally whack it on and have like the best coverage ever. A little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. <laughs> just blend that out with my sponge. Especially when you wanna do your makeup quicker, you just want something that's gonna like cover instantly and blend out really quickly. And this is that concealer for me. Okay, cool. I think we are all blended. Really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of bake underneath my eyes and set my entire face. With the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder, you guys know this is like my favorite powder. Some of you might be like, how the hell do you have time to bake when you wanna be quick? But I pack this on and leave it while I'm doing my eyebrows. So I'm kind of not waiting for it. I'm doing other things while it's doing its thing. Got my eye. And then I set my face as well so that everything else and like powder products that I put on like my bronzer and stuff will go on so much better. That way, you know, in the morning when you do your makeup, it's just gonna glide on and be like, Done. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna use the Primark Skinny Brow Pencil in Brown. I've spoken about this recently on my channel. It's two pounds. It is so good. It's just like the Benefit one. It's just like the Anastasia one. If you do wanna see how I do my eyebrows, I will leave a little thing in the eye here. It is a little bit more in depth. And obviously, cause I have already done it. I don't wanna like bore you in this video. It just does my eyebrows so quickly. Like the shape, it fills them in everything. And it's still really natural at the same time. Just taking a little bit of brow powder through the front, just so I can get that really, really quick, soft gradient like that. See how quick that was? Like bam, done. I do like to kind of clean my eyebrows up, but obviously if I'm in a bit more of a rush, I kind of just skip that step to be honest. Powder. Just quickly. Da -da -da -da. Obviously, you know, they aren't like the best eyebrows you've ever seen in your life, but for quick eyebrows, not too bad. And then real quick, just to bring out the hair even more, I'm using my Ico Brow Gel. This is like that little step, which makes a huge difference. It like sets them in place so they, you know, don't go anywhere. It brings out the hairs as well, and it literally takes two seconds. Ta-da! Let me just, you know, dust this off. Okay, so I'm looking a little bit corpsey right now. It's not my best look. I'm gonna use this today for my bronzer and my highlight. I haven't actually used it before on my channel. I don't really know why, to be honest. I think I've just been so caught up in my Makeup Forever bronzer that I just like don't use anything else. I forget I have about 20 million bronzers in my drawer. This one, I like it. This is by a brand called Be Bold and it's their contour kit. So it's got a contour, contour? It's got a contour. <laughs> I mean contour, bronzer and highlight in it, as you can see. So we've got the contour, bronzer, highlight. This bronzer, oh, oh, it's such a good shade. I love it. You just have to dip. Apply, and already, there it is. The good thing that I like about this compared to my Makeup Forever one is this is more kind of pigmented, so the color instantly applies. So when you're in a bit of a rush, it's sort of one swipe and you're there. Do you know what's really bugging me right now? This little guy. Don't you think spots are so rude though? Like they just come like whenever they want, like don't even tell you they're coming, they just show up. I just want to see how I look a little bit more alive now. Just adds a little bit more color and a little bit more life to your face. And that's what I need. I am going to be adding some blush just to add a little bit more of like a natural flush of color to my skin. This one's by Makeup Geek. It's in the color Covert. It's this really nice like berry color. Add a little bit to my cheeks, like a little flush of color. Oh, oh, that is pigmented. Let's just uh, stole that down. I always forget how pigmented Makeup Geek blushes are. And then I put it on my face and I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. I feel so much better now that I have colored my skin. For highlight, I'm gonna go back into this Be Bold one and this is the highlight shade here. Oh, <sighs> boys and girls. This highlighter, this has been slept on. This is dry, okay? This is dry. Instantly, bam. That's exactly what I want. So, you know, we haven't got to sit here and be like piling on that highlighter. You know, you want that instant glow. Mind you, I know everyone probably doesn't want a glow this cray. Which Sugar, which is of course like so fine. I mean, there's so many highlighters out there these days anyway. Is that you? Sorry, I couldn't see you from my blinding highlighter. <laughs> I'm actually so disgusting. Like, feel free to unsubscribe. I'm so gross. Bitch, I'm blind, I'm blind. <laughs> anyway, enough of the highlighter. Super, super simple now. We are just for the eyes gonna whack on some mascara. If I was gonna recommend one mascara, it would be the Maybelline Lash Sensational. That is like one of the best mascaras. However, sadly, RIP to my one because I ran out. So I'm gonna be using this one instead and I don't know why I haven't used it sooner because 
Hi. The Kiko Full 2.0 Mascara. And the reason why I love this so much is because, I don't know if you guys can see, the wand is like itty bitty. It's such a baby wand. And I know what you're probably thinking. We're in a rush. Why would I want a small wand? I just want to whack on and go. But the reason why I like this is, of course, when I want minimal makeup and I'm just putting on mascara, I want my lashes to look the best that they possibly can. I want to get like every single lash. So this little brush here gets right into the outer corner, right into the inner corner, just like really lengthens everything. And it's perfect for the lower lash line. I love how I'm like mimicking like this, like pretending to put it on. Oh, actually, wait, hold on. Good tip. Set your eyelids with translucent powder just to make sure, just to make sure your mascara doesn't transfer. Not that I've experienced that with this one, but you never know. Can you see how much this mascara can get right into the root? Give it a little wiggle. Little wiggle. Oh, I love this little brush. Also, just to say, I do read the comment section. I've seen a few of you ask if I can like zoom in a little bit more. Unfortunately, my new lens that I have isn't a zoom lens, so I can't zoom in. This is literally the closest you guys can come. So what I will do, you guys probably would have seen in the beginning, I'm gonna record close-up clips of my face so you can see everything close up that way rather than me showing you as I do it. I know it's really annoying, I'm really sorry. I know you do want to see close up, but yay, my eyes are no longer bald. This mascara definitely gives you more of that thicker lash. That's for sure. When I don't wear lashes, oh, I coat on that mascara. Just put some on the bottom. God, I never put mascara on my bottom eyelashes normally. I forget how long they are. Then the very last thing I like to do is just add a little bit of color to my lips just to bring the whole look together. These two here, so quick to put on, like instant color, and they're really, really comfortable as well. They're just perfect for every day. It just depends whether I want to go more glossy or whether I want to go more matte. So if I want to go more glossy, I spoke about these before, the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquers are such a great choice. Look how pigmented they are, like, instantly but i want to use something different so i think i'm going to go for this one so this is a makeup geek product this is their creme stain it says it's a stain but honestly it's more kind of like a liquid lipstick this color is called quick step oh that's so cute Do you know what I think would be really, really cute as well? If you have that little bit of extra time, literally like, like extra 30 seconds, putting on some little like faux freckles would look so cute and it actually will help enhance like the more naturalness, you know, and make it look like your skin. If you do want to do that, two little products I think are perfect for it. The Rimmel Brow This Way and the Collection Define and Perfect little eyebrow products here. The little ones with eyebrow powder on, which is perfect because the shape of it is already like a freckle shape. And you can see they just apply little dots on your skin. You can just do that in this sort of area here and then take your beauty blender and just like bounce over it to soften it. And where it's powder, it will do it like instantly. I'll do a few to show you. So I'm gonna use the collection one because it's a little bit thinner. Just dot on. You might think it looks a little bit crazy and a little bit like intense right now, but bear with, it will come together. I just take my sponge and just press over the top. So you know, it doesn't look like we have literally just drawn on <laughs> freckles. Dab, 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 dab. I was gonna dab then, don't do that to yourself, Jordan. <laughs> and yeah, it looks a little bit like this. Hopefully you can see it just as like a little something. All that's left to do now is spray a little bit of set and spray. This one is the Ofra Makeup Fixer, which is one of my absolute favorite set and sprays. I discovered this recently. It's like changed the set and spray game for me. I think that is everything guys. So that is this quick 15 minute makeup look done. So that is everything from me today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this sort of like quickish everyday makeup look. Thing. For them times where you want to look put together, you still want to look decent, but you know, you're short on time. Once again, thank you so, so much to EX1 for sponsoring the kind of like foundation part of this video. That is everything from me. Time to wrap this up. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me. And also if you do, maybe want to see a little bit more of me, feel free to subscribe. Totally don't have to. Your choice. No pressure. Thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch this video. I love every single one of you so, so much. Hope you all had a fab week and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.